Of course. You're a new neighbor, aren't you? And you must be the fireman. How oddly you say that. I'd have known it with my eyes shut. What? The smell of kerosene? My wife always complains. You never wash it off completely. No, you don't. Kerosene. Mmm, nothing but perfume to me. Does it seem like that, really? Of course. Why not? I don't know. Do you mind if I walk back with you? I'm Clarice McClellan. Guy Montag, come along. What are you doing out so late wandering around? How old are you? Well, I'm 17 and I'm crazy. My uncle says the two always go together. When people ask you your age, he said, always say 17 and insane. <laughs> Isn't this a nice time of night to walk? I like to smell things and look at things and sometimes stay up all night walking and watch the sunrise. You know, I'm not afraid of you at all. Why should you be? So many people are. Afraid of firemen, I mean. But you're just a man, after all. Do you mind if I ask how long you worked at being a fireman? Uh, since I was 20. Ten years ago. Do you ever read any of the books you burn? That's against the law. Of course. It's fine work. Monday, burn Millie. Wednesday, Whitman. Friday, Faulkner. Burn the ashes, then burn the ashes. That's our official slogan. Is it true that a long time ago firemen put up fires instead of starting them? No, houses have always been fireproof. Take my word for it. Strange. I heard once that a long time ago houses used to burn by accident and they needed firemen to stop the flames. <laughs> why are you laughing? I don't know why. You laugh when I haven't been funny and you answer right off. You never stop to think about what I've asked you. You're an odd one. Haven't you any respect? I don't mean to be insulting. I just... I love to watch people too much, I guess. Doesn't this mean anything to you? Yes. Have you ever watched the jet cars racing on the boulevards down that way? You're changing the subject. I sometimes think that drivers don't know what grass is or flowers because they never see them slowly. If you showed a driver a green blur, oh yes, he'd say, that's grass. A pink blur, that's a rose garden. White blurs are houses, brown blurs are cows. My uncle drove slowly on a highway once. He drove 40, 40 miles an hour and they jailed him for two days. Isn't that funny and sad, though? You think too many things. I rarely watch the parlor walls or go to races or fun parks, so I have lots of time for crazy thoughts, I guess. Have you ever seen the 200-foot-long billboards in the country beyond the town? Did you know that once billboards were only 20 feet long, but cars started rushing by so quickly they had to stretch the advertising out so it would last? I didn't know that. But I know something else you don't. There's dew on the grass in the morning, and um, if you look, there's a man on the moon. What's going on? My mother and father and uncle sitting around talking. It's like being a pedestrian, only rarer. My uncle was arrested another time, did I tell you? For being a pedestrian. <laughs> oh, we're more pe most peculiar. Well, what do you talk about? Good night. Are you happy? Am I what? <laughs> Why do I feel like I've known you for so many years? Because I like you, and I don't want anything from you, and because we know each other. You make me feel very old, very much like a father. <laughs> now you explain. Why haven't you had a daughter like me if you love children so much? I don't know. You're joking. I mean, well, my wife, she, she just never wanted any children at all. I'm sorry. I really thought that you were having fun at my expense. I'm a fool. No, no, it was a good question. It's been a long time since anybody cared enough to ask. It's a good question. Let's talk about something else. Have you ever smelled old leaves? Don't they smell like cinnamon? Here, smell. Well, yes, it is like cinnamon in a way. You always seem shocked. It just, I haven't had time. Did you look at the stretched out billboards like I told you? I think so, yes. Your laugh sounds much nicer than it did. Does it? Much more relaxed. Why aren't you in school? I see you every day wandering around. Oh, they don't miss me. I'm antisocial, they say. I don't mix. It's so strange. I'm very social indeed. It all depends on what you mean by social, doesn't it? Social to me means talking to you about things like this, or talking about how strange the world is. Being with people is nice, but I don't think it's social to get a bunch of people together and then not let them talk to you. An hour of TV class, an hour of basketball or baseball or running, an hour of transcription history or painting pictures and more sports, but 
Do you know, we never ask questions, or at least most don't. They just run the answers at you, bing, 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 and us sitting there for four more hours of film teacher. That's not social to me at all. I guess I'm seeing, I guess I'm, and everything they say I am, all right. I haven't any friends that's supposed to prove that I'm abnormal, but everyone I know is either shouting or dancing around like wild or beating up one another. Do you notice how people hurt each other nowadays? That's very old. Sometimes I'm ancient. I'm afraid of children my own age. They kill each other. Did it always used to be that way? My uncle says no. Six of, six of my friends have been shot in the last year alone. Ten of them died in car wrecks. I'm afraid of them, and they don't like me because I'm afraid. My uncle says his grandfather remembered when children didn't kill each other. But that was a very long time ago, when they had different things. They believed in responsibility, my uncle says. Do you know what? I'm responsible. I do all the shopping and house cleaning by hand. <laughs> but most of all, I like to watch people. Sometimes I ride the subway all day and look at them and listen to them. I just want to figure out who they are and what they want and where they're going. You know what? What? People don't talk about anything. They must. No, not anything. They name a lot of cars or clothes or swimming pools and say, oh, how swell. But they all say the same things and no one says anything different from anyone else. And most of the time in the caves they have the joke box on and the same jokes most of the time. Or the musical wallet and all the colored patterns running up and down. But it's only all color and all abstract. And at the museums, have you ever been? All abstract. That's all there is now. My uncle says it was different once. A long time back, sometimes pictures said things, or even showed people. Uncle said, your uncle said, your uncle must be a very remarkable man. He is. He certainly is. Well, I gotta be going now. Goodbye, Mr. Montag. Goodbye, Clarice. Goodbye.